She is overseeing this gold medal match then in Group 7 in the men's singles between Will Bailey of Great Britain and the local hero Israel Pereira Stroll. And as you can hear, there may be a lot of Brazilians in here, but there's a fair contingent of British friends, family and teammates looking to cheer on Bailey. The opening serve, a little too subtle for the Brit. That was clever. There we go. A little indication from Carlos Zapata, the other umpire. I think. I think it was that. Yeah. I think it was actually that the, uh, the ball was hidden behind the shoulder. They've got to be careful because they've been so tight on on this in this competition. Oh, well, look at the side spin on that came boomeranging back in. We wonder whether, you know, Bailey in that loss to Pereira Stroh early on is doing difficulty coming to terms with uh, dealing with a left-hander. Certainly changes the dynamic, doesn't it? Whoa! Bailey Little, look at the coach for encouragement. But, uh, Losing that point. You speak to left-handers about that, and they often say, well, they have trouble playing other left-handers because most often they're playing right-handed uh, table tennis or tennis players. Yeah, the right-handers, if you're playing a right-hander, you can get into that kind of rhythm of backhand to backhand. It's not quite, it's a bit more disruptive. Oh, well, they've all just sat on the net and fell the wrong side as far as Bailey was concerned. It's sat on the net and have a, had a thought about it. And no, I'm going this side. Lovely backhand from Bailey. Look off the ground as he played it. A lot of spin imparted. That's a great point because he was in a spot of bother early on and managed to eke his way back into the game. You know, previous to that, the longest rally was five strokes. That was 16. <laughs> now, these two, we suspect, are dealing in power rather than finesse. This is an excellent match and we've only had 10 points so far. <laughs> Swing and a miss, as they say. Good angle. Gee, well, that's a serious accusation. And you knew it, he said. I'm not quite sure what that was about. No. I told you he was a spiky character. Mm. Oh, and it's gone just wide. Well, the umpires, if this kind of exchange continues, will have to step in and calm things down. But he said it again. I'm not sure what he's referring to, what, what instant, but uh, Bailey not st taking a step back. Well, if... Pereira Stroh is doing something untoward. It's it's the job of the umpires. Well, you should be having a conversation with the umpire. Mm. Anyway. 
and he is. And so, so. I think it's about the legality of the serve. It's really important for Bailey to settle back in into the game, focus on his game. If he needs to make his point, make it to the umpires. And also, if you've got that anger, just channel it. Channel it properly. Don't get distracted, like you say. There's a big British contingent in this Rio Centro Pavilion 3. And the chuntering between the two carries on, this time from Stroll. Age to size that one up. And now it's the turn of the Brazilians in the crowd to get fired up. Well, that serve really let down the Brazilian. So I take the break at nine all and uh, a look of uh, concern and some. Uh, Aggravation on the look of Will Bailey. This has got an edge to it. That court. Miss Long. And the Brit has the first game point in this very feisty encounter. Pereira Stroh did have two-point lead quite late in this first game. Staring down the barrel now, though. And he's done it. Well... It's been an interesting first game. Accusations flying from Bailey. At what we're not quite sure, the umpire talking to Bailey himself. He's won three about, consecutive about, points to take the game. Yeah, and now the umpires are having a little word. And the British fans getting behind their man. He leads by one game to love. Up goes the Bailey chant. Easy little break there. We're back on the table. Bailey, a game to the good in this gold medal match. Plenty of support for both players. Not any fighting in the terraces. They might be around the table. Right start to the second game for Pereira Stro. More and more people pouring into this Rio Centro, and perhaps not surprisingly, British coach calls the timeout. Quite early on in this match. Yeah. 
Just the shortest of uh, timeouts. It's, it's really just to calm the, the crowd down and stop the momentum, I think. Well, he's not into the second game at all, is he, yet, uh, Bailey? I think he's just reminded to concentrate and do the basics. Four straight points to Israel Pereira Stro. A lot of spin on these shots between these two. It's a right old battle. It's just long. He's cross with himself as well. Always fighting the rear guard action there. Always just hoping for the unforced error from the uh, Brazilian, who is in a commanding position in his second game. Oh, yes. Forehand too good. Too a bit of the net, I think. Yeah, just caught uh, the back edge of the table, hand raised in... Well, I won't call it a token apology. They, <laughs> they do it whether they mean it or not, though. You take it every day of the week. That was an excellent return from Bailey. Well, he's four points behind. The question is... Can he haul himself back into this game, or is it already gone? <laughs> Awful lot of spin on that forehand from Bailey. And there we are, the first fault caught. What he is frustrated about, he went straight across and said, basically, he got the point because as he throws it up, it, it kind of is shielded by his, his body. But what he actually said is, he is doing it also. He is doing it also. And then, this is a stupid decision. I don't know if you caught that at, at home, but um, he's quite exercised about it. And it's fine as long as you're it's channeling it, that anger yeah, in the right yeah, way. Yeah, but it, it's not okay to abuse the umpire. No, so, no absolutely. Are you watching? He says, yes, I'm watching. He says, no, you're not. Well, and, and the, the other point to make is, if she's made a de decision, there's yeah. no point arguing because yeah. it's not going to change, is it? It's been brought to the attention of the umpires. The thing is, they're not, they're not operating at the same angle as the players. And uh, they're, they're at a slight disadvantage side on to know exactly what's going on. Lu Hong and Carlos Zapata. The umpires having uh, an interesting <laughs> match. As you might say in footballing parlance, getting the Alex Ferguson treatment. Another point to the Brazilian, edging towards his second game. But if it's your bread and butter serve and you're getting penalised for it, you're in a spot of bother, aren't you? Oh, that's brilliant. What defence from the Brazilian. He looked out of the rally at least twice. Oh, my word. He is fired up. This is a great match. What a spectacle. And he is within touching distance of levelling this match up at one apiece. He's hardly landed a blow in this second game, Bailey. And it's done. He's wrapped up the second game. Straight back to the corner. And that was an excellent game from Israel Pereira-Stroll. 
I now think that, that Bailey, it's, it's front and centre of his thinking, the dispute about who's serving legally and who isn't. And, and to be fair, well, the coach's job now is to say, look, let it go. It's yeah. gone. Whatever happens, happens. Just worry about your game. interesting to be able to listen in to what the uh, British corner was saying because I think there's more work to be done there than there is in the green and gold corner mentioned this be uh, in the game we saw before with Bailey, but a uh, little known fact uh, that he attended the British School for Performing Arts in Croydon. So um, I'm not sure he's one for holding his emotions in, che in mm. check necessarily. Bailey was first to make the accusation, but he was also first to get called for it on the legality of the serve. Uh, could be he felt well if Pereira Stroh is getting away with it I'm going to and then got called no yellow cards as of yet you can get a yellow card for a violation and if uh, it happens like taking too much time at a timeout if it happens again then you're, you're out anyway so um, we haven't seen that yet that's one good thing Um, might have caught Bailey on the finger. He misread the flight. Well, Pereira Stroh is never out of a rally. He's really stepped it up since dropping the first game 11-9. You do wonder if that uh, group stage defeat for Bailey is uh, playing on his mind as well. Bear in mind the uh, timeout for the British have, has been spent already fairly early on in this match. You know, after Bailey won the first game, Pereira Stroh won 13 of the next 18 points. Now a little response from Bailey. Very tentative from Bailey. Looking again at the serve because he can't read it if he can't see it. It's, it's kind of what I think he's trying to suggest. Let's look at this serve again from. It wasn't the serve that beat him that time. So Pereira Stroh in each of the first two games has only dropped three points on his own serve. In the second game, Bailey dropped six. Nice little change from Bailey. Brings him the point. He's not quite out of this yet. mentality for the British uh, team at the moment. Not taking a step back was either the coach or the uh, player. And I think the uh, coach was being pulled up for perhaps doing a little bit too much coaching. You can encourage, but you can't coach specifics. Anyway, four all, one all, in a real battle.
And for the first time in this second game, Bailey hits the front. Timeout called Brazil. Oh, oh, well, that doesn't help the mood on the floor. I, I well, that was accidental. Uh, it certainly was. It certainly was. <laughs> and it, I think for the, <laughs> the, crowd for the mood of the fans, complete. they needed to see that handshake yeah. there, right there. They both smiled, even yeah. when he was on the floor. Yeah. But the whole, you can almost hear the intake of breath. Oh. <laughs> but this is a feisty affair. It's great spectacle, but uh, uh, no, goodness I, me. I, I disagree in a little way, Richard. There's some of it I don't want to see. Like, I, I want to see better sportsmanship out there. But, you know, it, 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 this is a big part of table tennis, though, isn't it? The, the serve and how open and visible it is. It, it's, a, it's a rule that comes up all the time. And it's subjective, and that's the problem. Mm. And but the accusations across the table, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think assist the image of the sport. I think you're probably right. And I, I, I think probably the fact is that uh, Will Bailey can't uh, help but let it out. That's the way he is. But it's nice to see that little uh, pat on the back. That was an accidental trip uh, yeah. earlier on. And that's good to see. And the, uh, the crowd liking that as well. And I can assure you, whatever happens, well, I, I can assure, I hopefully they will embrace at the end of this match, which is very tight. Good rally. One thing this match isn't, in any respect, is dull. It's <laughs> so fired up. Long this time from the Brazilian. Again, the British crowd are the ones making the noise. You know, just pause 12 points. Every multiple of six, you can stop and have a towel break. Biggest lead of this third game for Bailey. As he goes out to 7 5. Oh, that's a lovely shot from the Brazilian straight on to the backhand of Bailey. It was a weak return, really, for Bailey that set it up. Just throw it. Each lost only one point on serve in this third game. Touch of the net. A little apology from the Brazilian, but he's within touching distance of taking this second of our other third game. It's long. It's long. And it's back to just a point between them. For the big forehand winner and couldn't land it. Has to serve though. Has to serve and that's a slight advantage in itself, especially in this match. Nice inside out backhand in front of the body from Bailey. A lot of spin on it. Just cramped throw for room, didn't he? Nine apiece. Who would call this? Oh, oh got, a, got the luck. A little rueful look from uh, Stroll, who accepts the apology. <laughs> he looks up. He gives a verbal apology that time. And he's done it. Well, 
What a seesawing match this is, and what a seesawing game as well. And uh, Will Bailey is the man who's kind of crawled across the line in this third game. Ferrestro did lead by a couple in that third, but Bailey seemed to put the, uh, the feistiness that's around this match to one side for long enough to get back to the front. Yeah, they've uh, seemed to have concentrated on the table tennis, which is good to see, and uh, it's looking better for the British contingent. Will Bailey leading by two games to one. Well, Bailey, he's, sorry, Richard, uh, Bailey just wants to wipe down the table. I think there's a bit of moisture on the table at his end. Here yep. we go. Hold on to your hats. Fourth game of this uh, astonishing gold medal match. <laughs> oh, statement of intent straight away from Israel Pereira Stro. 11 world ranking places behind the world number one, which is that man there. Total match points, one, 30 for Pereira Stroh, 28 for Bailey, but he leads it two games to one. That largely because, of course, it was a, a bit of a stroll for Stroh in the uh, second game, 11-5. The other two have been uh, right Titanic battles, 11-9. See what uh, Bailey was trying to do there. Change the angle around. <laughs> oh, hit that horribly. Mm. Had all the time in the world to size it up. See the spin that is uh, coming your way. Got to deal. Well, an early two-point lead for Bailey in what uh, might be the final game. He's got a rally now, Stro. It will all slip away quite quickly if you're not careful. Yeah, a lot of side spin on that serve, and he knew where Stroh was going to try and place it. Couldn't get it over the net. No timeouts for either athlete here, so uh, they've got to figure it out for themselves. Oh, it's a shame because it was a great return from that cross table. A backhand from Bailey. That's a great return, and then couldn't quite find that next shot. That's better. He's very strong on the forehand. That's one of the, the couple of the miss hits and misdirected shots that whether Stroh is just feeling a little bit of fatigue in long games, except for the one that he took so easily, of course, the second. 11-9, 5-11, 11-9. Still in touch, though. Oh, great rally. When you consider this is a Class 7 competition, they're getting around the table brilliantly. And it's just starting to go the way of the British athlete here. Oh, that's a good serve as well. The fast, flat, surprise serve.
Biggest lead of the game. Four for Bailey. Stroh's in trouble. The crowd trying to cheer him up. They uh, heard the British fans chanting and they've rallied themselves. Can their man rally as well? Better at forehand. Crisp, isn't it? Time, perhaps a bit too much time to size it up. Yeah, he had a free swing at that one, Stroh, and it's an error that restores the four point lead for Bailey, and he's three from the match. 12 points in the game, you can have a, a little towel down, and you suspect Pereira Stroh will take, well, I thought he'd take as much time as possible just to slow uh, the, the game, take the passion out of it, the momentum. Stroh was playing better when Bailey was angry. Two points away from the gold medal for Will Bailey. He's won the tight games. And now he's looking to take advantage on his serve. Oh, and a miss hit presents title points to Bailey. His coach is keeping quiet, stay out of the way when he's playing this well. <laughs> Six gold medal points then for Will Bailey. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> he's king of the table. He's not short of confidence, this boy, is he? <laughs> and it is Will Bailey, the world ranked number one, who had the silver in London. He's gone one better here. <laughs> he needs to come down and uh, do the right thing. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a yellow card for that, and I don't think he cares. <laughs> well, it's like taking your shirt off after scoring a goal. And into the arms <laughs> of his coach. I'm still waiting for the connection of the two competitors. That, that needs to happen. I'm sure it will. Let's hope it will. Now he comes over. Oh, not yet. to go and have a chat yeah, to Stroh. Yeah, was looking for an opportunity there. And I think he, he's in the moment, but hopefully he will realise there's another man here involved. And this is what it means to him, though. Friends, family up in the uh, stands have supported him through thick and thin. It's been a culmination of a lot of work, but he, like you say, does need to go and acknowledge. Yeah, he's ticked all the boxes except one really important one, and that's to acknowledge his opponent. Such an emotional, such a pumped-up young man. Let's see if he just remembers as a man who's won a silver here as well. Well, it's up to his coach too to say, hey, come on, that, uh, 